Okay guys, so here is one of the 3D renderings with Aspire. Um, and I'm going to show you my tool paths here. So, these are all my tool paths. This is just a profile pocket profile. Um, and um, so these are V carved. And you can let me do this that way you can see that. So all of that that I just selected is all V carved. And this is the pocket. So instead of V carving this, just because it's a V bit, it probably wouldn't look too good. If uh, we V carved it, I thought it looked better with uh, with being a pocket. And then this line is just your your profile. So this is what it'll actually cut. But again, going back to the CNC machine, so you can kind of see some of the some of the detail there a little bit. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to head over to. Um, yeah, I got all this stuff saved, and it's all saved on the other computer, so let's go over here to get all this stuff set up. I have my HDU down there. I got everything zeroed. I think we should be good, and we got our bit in there. Um, I'm going to give this a whirl. I'm going to flip this back around so that uh, you can see the mess that it makes. Hopefully, we get uh, some good video here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to load in that you can't see here because uh, monitors up on the wall. So I have this in a different file and I've actually numbered them. So the V card is the first one that I'm going to select and make sure that my file is good run and this might get a little noisy so might have to speed this up a little bit but enjoy few minutes so there is part one so now I need to change my bit and we will do the pocket and then we will do the profile cut of course we have to change up the collars again I would hate to drop that and break the tip off of that. So, okay, so there's that. Now, what I have to do is go back up to my current X and Y, and I'm going to do six millimeters above, and then I'm going to set the zero of the uh, of the Z. So here we go. So let me go back through here and I just want to zero the Z. Done. So now that that is set, I'm going to load in the second part, which is three parts here. And I'm going to do the, let's see here, just the pocket. And make sure my file is correct and off with the next one. Apparently this looks horrible. I'm going to have to trim that up a little bit, but apparently uh, I didn't even think about it. I think that's a one flu blade 
and I'm only cutting an eighth inch down, so I should have used a two flu in order to go through and maybe done two passes with that, but uh, whatever. Um, it's not that big of a deal. So the last thing to do is um, just cut the shape out. So I'm going to re-zero and rapid position. I'm going to get back to my current XY coordinates and I'm going to do my offset Z six millimeters high. I'm going to leave all that as is. And the last thing that I need to do is go back to my files, production files, and make sure I get it in the right folder. And so this is my profile cut, which should cut the sun completely out. And make sure my file profile bungalow number three. So I'm going to get run. Here we go. Last one. Okay, so unfortunately I screwed up. Um, I didn't put anything down underneath um, this piece, which I normally do. I meant to put a piece of cardboard down, but whatever, I totally forgot. So when, uh, when the router went down to cut its fourth pass, obviously it bottomed out and it drug and um, it automatically came right back up. So I have about uh, a quarter inch that I have to cut out around there. It's not a big deal. I can still sand it all back down and it'll look like beautiful and no one will ever know the difference but uh that was a fail 